Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So if you do realize we are live a little bit early today, that's okay. Today's going to be two lives. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. We got to pull everything up here. We got the music going already, so we got to pull up the screen. There's that one. Get to the stairs. That one. There's the music. All right. Let's share this one out here today. We're going to share it Facebook. That's pretty much it because we're not going live on Facebook for this one. This one is just going to be for uh, my people over across the ocean that I uh, like to watch, but usually I'm just too late live for them. This is kind of for you guys. Um, All right, there we go. All right, so uh, it's posted there. So that's pretty much it. We're not sharing it out other than that. Uh, I told uh, my cousin's Discord and stuff what we're doing, uh, get the comments pulled up here. We're going to kind of keep it simple today. It's not too terribly different than what we normally do. Uh, we are going to be drinking our beer. We're going to drink a drink. Uh, but we do have something kind of fun planned. Uh, we're just going to see how it goes. Uh, I do have something I need to do on the live, <clears throat> and that's kind of what's going to be our filler for this morning, is that. Um, if you're curious on what time it is here, my time, it is, oh, it's lunchtime, it's 12 o'clock, uh, so it's not too early or anything like that, so it, it's just about the right time. So, there we go, got the live chat pulled up. Um, so, pretty much today is one of those other, kind of we did it a few weeks ago, um, three ladies at work, uh, all my yard work's done, pretty much most of the other stuff's done that I need to get done, uh, and I want to kind of be able to go live with you guys as well, because I know some of you just kind of enjoy and want to chat and stuff like that, but you can't because I usually go live during times that are not within a time frame that's good for you guys. So I uh, do apologize for that. That's why we're going to try to start doing these like this. So I did title this one Friday Fun Day Stream 1 of 2. So if you're curious, I bought a new cool box yesterday. Um, so pretty much what we're going to be doing after we finish this beer, we're going to pull us, pour us a glass of Jameson here, uh, IPA. That's what we're going to be drinking on. Um, and we're going to be doing a live, and I'm going to build my toolbox for you guys today. Um, I haven't put it together. It's still in the box, so we're going to do that probably together. Um, but let's go ahead and jump in it and get started with the shot to bring in everybody, you know. Let's get, we're going to do vodka today. I'm just kind of feeling something a little citrusy. So, uh, if you're new, hit that subscribe button below. Come from our huge families every single day. But if you are not new, this here is uh, just a shot that we do for anybody that become part of the family while we were not live or over the time period between Wednesday's live and today. So we're using the citrus infused sky vodka for that today. Um, and also if there's a new subscriber during the live, we do do a shot for each subscriber that we do gain. Um, and cheers to all the new family that has uh, grown with us over the last few days while I wasn't live or anything, but cheers. And if you've never had the Sky Citrus Infusions, definitely something really worth getting. Uh, something's going to go good with Sprite, any citrus drink or anything like that. That's an absolute amazing drink. Uh, but nonetheless, I probably could have pulled it up on my other phone, but that's okay. How blurry is it for you guys? Got my volumes turned off on my phone here. I, to, I didn't want anybody to call in the middle of it and then go drastically crazy. Um, but on the bright side, it is absolutely beautiful outside. Um, wonderfully bright also. Oh, look at a glass. It's a clean glass, too. Um, put that back there. Um, so this one is going to be the first live. This one, like I said, is for all my UK friends, uh, Japanese friends, anybody that doesn't usually fit into my normal time zone. Now, if you are here by some chance that you usually watch my other streams, 
Don't worry, like the uh, description says, this is one of two. We will be going live again later this evening, my time, for our normal Friday live, um, where we go live on Facebook and we go live on YouTube. So we're going to be working on that one as well. But I just felt like doing this one a little early just to kind of see how it rolls, you know. It's just kind of something to do. And uh, might as well, you know, I'm going to be building my toolbox either way. So let's, let's do it together, right? So that's what we're going to do. I miss all of my mouth. Oh, man, that's that's actually really good. So my morning started out like nine thirty ish. When pretty like that's like I said the other day, it's like pretty lady's gonna come home for lunch, and then she's I'm gonna wake up about three minutes till she has to leave, and I'm like you ain't got any, and then she leaves. Yeah, and that's how it goes usually. But um. She left. I went outside. I finished up all my yard work, and I was going to do live a little bit earlier, but I waited just because I wanted to go live a little bit later in the evening for overseas, and then I also wanted to get yard work and stuff done before it got too, too hot. Um, <coughs> so, so I just stuff to the side just a little bit here. So what we did get here is a new toolbox. It's nothing expensive for anybody that's stupid, crappy box. Um, it's nothing expensive. It's nothing crazy. I didn't go out and ball out by a really expensive uh, toolbox. Uh, this is one of the first ones I bought that's not like a carry-along. So it's going to be one of the first ones that I have that's going to be built up. Uh, here. What it looks like. Uh, it's pretty decent. I think it's only like 49 inches or something like that. 49, almost 50. 49.8. Yeah. 49.8 inches tall. So it's not going to be too terribly tall. But I think it'll be interesting to put together together. 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 So that's what we're going to be working on here in just a little bit. It says team lift, but who cares about that? Team lift's overrated. So what we're going to do is probably, uh, when we do build that, I'll probably move my table out of the way. Uh, probably move you guys over there, and that way you guys can watch us build it, and then we'll move you back. So we'll see how it all pans out. You get to see my full body for once. But I think it'll be pretty fun. Or actually, we might have to work on it a different way because I'm not sure how far my camera will reach. We'll go from there. We'll have to see from there. We'll see what happens. Um, but I think we can work something out. I might be able to slide my monitor, my computer tower, and a bunch of other stuff that way, so we'll see. Um, but that's the plan, to build the toolbox and get that up and going. Uh, the Mustang itself, I don't know if any of you guys know, but I do have an 89 Mustang that I usually keep outside, because I can't keep it in that. No. Um, it's been giving me a lot of issues, and I think I'm at the point of fixing it this time, one last time, and then tossing it, you know? So we're going to see what happens. I've talked to a couple of friends that kind of agree with what it, I've been doing and what I've been going through, so it might be something that's going to be happening soon. So if you're watching and you're interested in my car, let me know. I do know I have several friends on my Facebook and stuff or people that watch me that weren't interested in it. So if you're interested in it, let me know and tell me what you think you would pay for. Uh, I just need something... It's not necessarily a project car because I already have another project car. I got a 66 Mustang from also a project car. So we just got to kind of fix it. The 66, though, is a 66 straight six single barrel car, um, three speed in the floor, coupe car. It's going to be really cool. That's what we're going to be working on building. Um, I think it's going to be really fun. I might do videos on that throughout the YouTube experience of the process of building the 66. Um, I was supposed to go work on it today, but I got some other things that I really need to get done after the live. So uh, I'm not going to be able to do that. So I'm actually going to I'm gonna call Ray here in a little bit also and let him know what's going on. But uh, i got to order some parts. But it ain't been too bad. We went over there on uh, Sunday last week and worked on it and got some things figured out and taken care of. Uh, but it ain't too bad, I reckon. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and finish this up here. 
winding into the 15 minute range. So if you're new, usually I take my beer for the first 15 minutes and then once we roll over that 15, we jump right up into the whiskey or whatever we're drinking and then we start off what we're doing, chit chatting, whatever, usually what it is. But since we're going to be building this, we're probably doing a little bit soon and might. Cheers. So that's empty. Set this to the side. My normal thing. My regular phone. Um, let's set that there. Move this over there for right now. That should be fully charged, so we won't, we're not going to worry about that. Right now. Yeah. That over here. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what we're trying to do here is set up room so we can uh, build this uh, toolbox. How much room can I slide this? I like it. We get a bit of room. I didn't expect it to give me that much. All right, so we got that. Still want you guys to be able to see that, but I want it to be more towards the floor. Yeah, you can see the vodka now, too. Right, tilt it down just a hair more. All right, because, yeah, that works. All right, and let's clean this uh, camera off. A little less fuzzy. Maybe, maybe a little bit more fuzzy. There we go. Pull you back down. Roughly right there. That's turned all the way down. You get my orange. All right, so now you're a little crooked. There we go. All right, so what we got here, we're going to pour. You guys can kind of see this here. So we got our shot glass in the back for any subscribers that we do get while we're doing this. And we'll try to keep an eye on it. Um, pull the page up. Sitting at 425. We're going to pour this up some Jameson here. It is the Jameson IPA. It is 40% alcohol with notes of crisp citrus, light hops, and floral aromas. 40% um, alcohol. Cast Made Series is a result of a collaboration between our neighbors at 8D Brewing. They borrow our casks to age their fine Irish pale ale. And then we finish our signature whiskey in these IPA seasoned oak barrels. The result, the classic smoothness of Jameson with nuts of hops and a light, crisp finish. Absolutely great. You can always check, uh, look it up at jamesonwhiskey.com. Uh, but, yeah, you can just, uh, we're going to go ahead and jump up in there. If you have any comments, questions, go ahead and just put them in there. I can kind of see the computer. So what we have here, as you guys can kind of see it now, is these two bucks. Uh, it's going to be building. It's what we're going to be looking at getting together today. And I was going to do it off uh, camera, but pretty lady was like, hey, maybe you should just do it on the camera. So that's what we're going to be doing. And it kind of gives me something to do in the morning. Or not really morning, but to get everything situated. Because i got to build it either way. So I might as well do it with you guys. And maybe it'll be a helpful little video later on. If maybe other people need to do uh, videos. <laughs> so, I guess you could say this is whiskey and building. Whiskey building? Instead of team building or whiskey building. I'm probably going to keep all this cardboard and burn it later, honestly. There's a lot in here. The only thing that I hate most is like, I can already tell, like, there's so much uh, styrofoam. Which I understand because it's metal and you don't want it all scratched up and stuff. But I absolutely hate when this stuff like breaks apart because it causes such a mess. I'm hoping most of it comes pretty much pre-built. But looking at this picture, it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. It does have instructions, but we may not need them. So much stuff packaged around it. They really did not want this uh, thing to get scratched. Did they? Okay, so 
let's see. And this comes up. Well, not really Alright, so. Hmm. Okay, so according to this, the only thing we're probably going to have to build is the centerpiece, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it is when we take it out. Uh, we got a little map. A map here. That's everything. I'm going to assume that all of our parts are in here that we're going to need to put this together. That's not going to come out. That way. Oh, there's a wash. Okay, so we're gonna set all the bolts that are already used for the mat, the holding this in, just to the side here. I keep forgetting there's a wash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else have a bunch of tools or toolboxes that they use? What brand do you use? Uh, I didn't go with uh, anything really expensive. I don't have a whole lot of tools. And this one's just going to be sitting in the house. Now, when I do get <laughs> more room, bigger space for a house, I'll probably get a better toolbox. But this is going to definitely be just enough for what I need. And guys, also, if this is something you guys enjoy, I don't mind like doing small things like this. Uh, we can always build things. I absolutely love building things, so let me know. Ugh. All right, so, box. More box. That's the plastic. More plastic or foam, not really plastic. The top, okay, okay. All right, so like I said, we only really gonna get building the bottom, I believe. Okay. So, uh, what am I missing? So we have that, we have this. Oh, look at that. Magic drawer with magic stuff in it. There's no what? There's so many extra things. Alright, another map. I'm gonna probably have to straighten that one out. That one's already straight. Alright, so that those drawers gave us free stuff. What is in these drawers? In Empty. Empty. Okay, so um, let's open up this first one here. So we have little hooks here. Um, I work in <laughs> Wally World, so I obviously know what these are, and I'm going to buy the pictures. These are going to go like on the side. There's like a pegboard down the side of the toolbox here. Um, we'll hang those up as we need them. Okay, so here's the wheels and stuff. All right, 
right, okay. And it even comes with its own little wrench, man. That's pretty cool. Comes with its own little wrench and bolt set. This is just the wheels. I'm still undecided if I'm going to actually put the wheels on or not. It sounds like it's got more bolts and stuff in it. So. This is probably the centerpiece. It is. Assuming this one is just like this thing. really good deal on this box too. Uh, I usually don't buy stuff unless they're absolutely worth buying. I'm going to need a Phillips head. Um, so I usually only buy things if they're on sale or worth buying or I can justifiably buy what I need to buy. Um, so with that being said, I did buy this one at a really good price. Uh, it was only a hundred bucks so, not bad at all, and I think I'm going to have to put the wheels on it, so. But yeah, uh, only 100 bucks for this toolbox. It's got five drawers, two opening drawers, and a table in the middle, so. I think it's worth it. I'm going to put the wheels on last, though. We're still going to stand it up and build it the right way. Here. So we'll make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. That one's there. Got our drool. Oh, there's another piece of foam in here. I'm gonna be picking up foam pieces forever. Alright, so we got that. That drawer is now empty. That drawer is now empty. Alright, so again, uh, I've never built a toolbox before, so we're gonna be learning together here. Alright, so yeah, two like that, two like that. So let's see how it goes together. According to this, remove base from chest, remove all four Phillips head screws from the bottom, and discard. So, I think this plate comes off. Alright, let me get my Phillips head out. We just got a bunch of new tools with those fans. I should have got the magnet head one, though. I could use my, my drill, but I'm, I want to do it this way. I'm going to set these to the side because it says discard, but um, if you're somebody like me, I, I, I never discard these tools or screws because they can be used for almost anything. So I put them in crooked. Very cross threaded. So there's that off. All right, so reattach base and casters to the bottom of the cabinet. Okay, so it actually looks like we're going to be doing the wheels first. Like we're doing wheels first today, boys. Now 
simple enough. All right, so let's get the, the wheels here. Set them in the middle of the box here, just so you guys can still see. Uh, too bad so the way these screws are made they don't have a phillips head they don't have a flat head or nothing like that they actually have a shafted end you guys can see it that's got a square on it so what that square is going to do is it's going to sit inside there flush and then you put your washer back on you put your nut back on and what that design does is it keeps the the head of the bolt from spinning while you have it in there. It keeps you from having to do all those, like a few extra steps. Um, but I think it's not a bad idea, but you can easily over tighten them and strip them. I keep looking over there, but I'm used to you guys being over there. Um, but you can easily over tighten them and strip them out. So there's this wheel. And then each wheel itself comes with uh, four bolts, four washers, and four nuts. Um, so at each one, you got four, so each side's eight, so you got 16 that you have to put in. So it's not terrible, it's not a whole lot, it's a little more than what I thought there was going to be, for sure. But if I'm going to have a little bit of extra weight in here or anything like that, I don't mind having extra bolts because extra bolts inside is going to give me more uh, weight. And from what I've seen, if I'm not mistaken on the box, uh, each drawer does hold up to 20 pounds, which for tools, I mean, it's a, it's a lot. It just depends on what you're putting inside the actual toolbox. But 20 pounds is a pretty decent amount of items. Uh, once we get these all on, we'll go back over them. And this is that little wrench I was telling you about that they gave us. Uh, we'll use that just because I saves me from having to dig through all mine. Uh, so next, we're going to use this one, this corner here. I like to, when I put things together, I do like, a lot of people are weird and they like to do things differently uh, to each their own. I like to do whatever side is facing me. Like I'll do these two and then those two. Uh, a lot of people might do this one and that one and then this one and that one. But it's just... And you want to make sure it's straight because if it's not straight, then you're going to uh, have a lopsided wheel. And especially, like, you also got to pay attention, and not necessarily pay attention because it's simple, but um, you want to make sure that your squared bolts, the end goes actually into the metal sleeve that it's supposed to line into. Because if not, then you're going to end up with a lot more issues than you want to actually deal with, especially with only just putting together a toolbox. And for anybody that's never put anything together, um, there's a little thing you can always go with. Uh, and, and I know it sounds simple, especially for anybody that's ever worked on anything, but for anybody that's never worked on anything, if you're curious on how things work, Always in your head, no matter how the direction is, except for a few things. I mean, there's a few things that are directionally different. Um, but you always want to, the best way to like remember things like that is lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. So. I'm not going to make it too technical on you guys, because there is like reverse threaded items and stuff like that. So. And then that's when like, we rotate, so now that we're rotated, we take our uh, wrench, 
and then we tighten. They give you one that doesn't even really fit. I mean, I might just do my sockets. Yeah, I think I'm just going to get my sockets for this here in a little bit. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to do them all finger tight, and then I'll lay it down later before I put my tools in it. Because this little wrench just is not going to cut it. Um, so out of everything so far that I've gotten, a little wrench, not really worth using, uh, unless you just absolutely don't have any sockets, which I have a plentiful amount, um, definitely <laughs> probably use a little wrench. And you can adjust your wheels in or out there is a little bit of a, a uh, angle on them like this here you see it's more of a rectangle instead of a circle um, that allows you to, it gives you a range of motion for the bolts so we'll start putting in our next one And with that being said, like with those being shaped the same way, you have to make sure that they line up with the bolt too. Uh, but I mean, essentially, if you have the outside lined up, the inside's going to also line up. So essentially, it's the same. But it never hurts to make sure you're doing it right because, like I said, you can strip out the squares. And then once you strip out the squares, you'll never be able to get it tight again unless you change the bolt head to a uh, Phillips style bolt because. It's not going to uh, seat, and you're not going to be able to tighten the nut down. They didn't give me enough. See, I, that's why you keep extra items. That's why you keep extra stuff. Because it said toss them, but I needed them. And if your wheel does ever break, you can really kind of buy these wheels at any accessory part of the place. So, man, what's up, Justin? How's it going, man? Um, I'm just going to call you Hompus, if that's okay. I mean, I can call you Soup, soup Ma if you want, but I think I like Hompus. That man, that name's absolutely amazing. But uh, I know you're in Sweden, so this stream is going to be a little early for you. It might, I don't know what time it is for you there, but... Kind of the same concept. What we're doing is we're building this uh, toolbox, and I'm streaming twice today. I'm going to be streaming this stream, and I'm going to be streaming later, normal time for me. Right now, it is just over lunchtime, I believe. It's 6.22 p.m. Yeah, so for me, it is 12.22 lunchtime. So I was doing this to allow um, stream times to be a little bit better for people with different time zones. So I'm streaming twice today for uh, that just that reason. I want to be able to reach everybody, and because like me going live at my 8 p.m. or whatever, it, it's really rough on certain people that like you, where your time's on at 6:22 p.m. for you, but it's lunchtime for me. By the time I go live, it's going to be in the morning for you. So that's kind of why we're doing this here. Uh, it just so happens that I bought a new toolbox, so that's what we're really working for. There you go. Do your thing. All right. 
Uh, so, like I was saying kind of before, so the packet only came with uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, 12, or 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yeah, 12, 13, 14 bolts. Um, and it told me to toss these two bolts uh, and said that I wouldn't need them, so get rid of them. But it's a good thing, you know, that you keep them because you, you're going to need them. Uh, well, you know, I'm short two bolts, you know. Yeah, the streams I've watched has been late at night slash early morning. Yeah, and I'm trying to get to where, like, I can do certain streams. Um, I'm still going to do my Monday, Tuesday, or Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But on my days off, I would love to do more, like, uh, overseas-friendly time zone videos. And that gives a lot more time for you guys that may be busy or might be working or anything like that to ask questions that you might not be able to ask other than on a video. And it's just it's generally fun for me to go live, so I don't mind. All right, so there's all of those on. That was our last wheel that needed to be mounted. Everything is a finger tight at the moment. All right, so that puts this onto the wheels. We got, it's rolling now. It's rolling. All right, so we're going to use the restroom real quick. And I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. Uh, I really enjoyed the last stream I watched where Kenny was on with you. Yeah, that was um, Monday, I believe, Miller Monday. Uh, Kenny's my cousin. I've uh, known each other all my lives. Pretty awesome guy. I love him. He's one of the big reasons why I've actually become a streamer and done YouTube it was really because of him. He always pushed me to do it. Uh, my, breaking my leg was what really like put me into the spot to actually do it. All right, so okay, two, two more. Slide that out of the way. That's there. Two, 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 two. All right. I just want to make sure. Also, you guys can see now. Uh, kind of, you might not be able to. So there's holes right here. That's what those pegs I was telling you guys are about. That's these. They go there so you can hang stuff on the sides, obviously. Um, but now we're going to be building that top piece. So, what goes there is all right. So, yeah, riser assembly. No one assembled the riser should be the same size left to right as the chest. Um, symbol guides on the black flange side up together using the bolts GG and nuts FF provided. Okay. GG and FF. I'm going to assume that's what these are. So we're going to put this according to. Oh, hang on, hang on. All right, so it's just going to go up. These are going to go like this. Notches on each side. All right, so uh, bolt 
head out and nut in. Which one overlaps which? I love having Kenny on. Uh, he's really cool. He look, his communication style is a lot better than mine. Uh, he's had a lot more experience with all that kind of stuff. So uh, he's very, very helpful. And he streams on Twitch and stuff. So where did that book? Yeah. Oh, we went way over there. Yeah. Okay, so. Goes like that, and then next we're gonna take these. Uh, these have this flange and this. We could get all the way through with this and it'd be done. It'd be bad. Uh, what are you building? Looks like something I have, but it's from Ikea and much more narrow. Um, so I am building a toolbox. Uh, I need to upgrade from my smaller one to a bigger one. Uh, so that's going to that. So we are building... This. That's what we're building. <laughs> um, it'll be, I'm hoping it'll be done here in just a second. Honestly, I actually thought it would be a lot harder to build than it is. Uh, but it's coming together quite nicely. Uh, but I did recently come across a plentiful amount of, like, good deals for tools and stuff. So I bought a whole bunch of random tools recently, and I didn't have nowhere to put them. So uh, I found this at work for 100 bucks. So I was like, you know what? I might as well buy it. It's cheap, and I'm going to need it. So that's what we went with. All right, so there's that. I'm going to assume that uh, four of you little silver bolt go here.
Okay, so there's that one. And it actually took the ones again that it told me to get rid of. So, interesting. Two more to put in. What I have is not a toolbox hide, it's more like a document holder. Oh, like a filing cabinet? It's so more like a, I guess like a filing cabinet then. But I mean, I can see, I mean, it kind of, uh, they kind of look the same. So now the next part is going to be putting it on top of there, I guess. Maybe I should have mounted probably. I feel like I've done this the hard way. Oh yeah, I guarantee I did this the hard way because now I can't see anything. All right, so there's that one up in there pretty decent. All right, so next one. Next one. I should have bought the magnetic ones too. You guys probably can't see. It says that. It is hot in here, boys. I don't know about you guys, but. It is not warm or not cold. Where is the actual hole? Whew, I'm sweating up a storm, boy. that one. We're doing it better than the engineers because we're going to have extra boards. Yeah. 
that one in seat two. Extra bolts <laughs> by, a, by a lot. I don't feel like I'm supposed to have so many extra bolts. <laughs> Two extra bolts here, and then I got four extra ones. Here. Everything looks bolted down. Don't see any open spots? Nice. It's pretty sturdy. Uh, we do have our extra mats here. We're going to turn that flashlight off. Set these mats down. Set this way. Work on getting that flat. Oh, that was bigger than what it has to be. There's that one. Yeah. Take this baggie here. Well, I dropped them. I dropped them, boys. Dropped all my nuts. So there's our baggie of extras. They'll go in here. Baggie of these, which will eventually go in there, but we don't need them right now. I we'll need this. There was something in there. All that wrench. We'll keep the wrench. Flathead there my screwdriver going around. Alright, so alright, we built the toolbox. Um so now that you guys can see it a little better, and I can see it better built. Uh, I actually didn't see it before. So yeah, this is us for at the same time. So you got the top that opens up all the way. And here's a little drawer up there. Or not really a drawer, more of a hole. And then you got uh, one drawer here, one drawer here, and then one drawer here. And they progressively get bigger. Like this is like a one inch drawer. This one's like a four inch drawer. This one's like a three inch drawer. And then you got these drawers down here. And you have this shelf here. And then you have uh, these doors on the bottom. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it did say there is a punch out for electrical if I wanted to run some sort of thing like that. Then they said there was a punch out for it, but I don't see it. But I mean, I don't really care that much. The drawers are magnets. I'm going to you know, um, adjust the wheels once crooked. It's a little wobbly. But um, adjusting the wheels will be easy. There's a little nut on the bottom that makes the wheels longer than uh, they are short. All this stuff here. But accomplished is what it is. And if you're curious on the size, I am six foot tall. Comes up to about my chest. Uh, pretty decent shell uh toolbox i think for a hundred bucks i think it's going to serve me well it's going to give me everything that i need i can organize all my tools so much better now um now great before i know a lot of you guys just watched and seen like well he just kind of put it together with his fingers i did everything i did was just my fingers and my pocket knife and my phillips however i'm going to go back over this uh before i put all my tools in it i'm going to even out the wheels i'm going to make everything tight and snug before i put all my tools in it it looks great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Compass. Uh, yeah, Compass. It's, it's really cool. I love it. I enjoy it. Um, it was actually uh, a like minimum school decision because me and Pretty Lady, we were going to be getting a new bed. Uh, and I was like, do you want me to go ahead and buy the bed or do you want me to buy a toolbox? And uh, she told me to go ahead and buy the toolbox. 
uh, because she wanted to look around at a few more different beds and stuff like that. So uh, I have a toolbox now. Um, and I'm excited about it because my other toolbox is just a little red one. All right, so we got this one now. Here's mine that I've been using. So we went from, we're going from this to this. And not counting what's in the back of the Mustang, I got a little carry bag that has a bunch of other tools in it too. So we're going from this thing here to this. And I'm very, very excited about it. It's going to be more organized instead of cluttered. And I'm excited. So that's where all my tools are going to come from out of that and into there. And yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be really, really cool. And it gave me a bunch of extra wood to burn. Burnable stuff. Now I'm burning my stuff over there. But it looks cool. I mean, it's got a lot of room. It's got a lot of space. And they're ball bearing drawers, so they're not going to lock up on you. They're really smooth drawers. You got one finger drawers, man. They're, they're awesome. They come with their own. Each individual drawer does have its own little rubber mat, and it sits on there just like so. And that stops it from uh, your tools sliding around and the drawers open up. Um, love it. Probably going to take the badge off of it. So, yeah. Uh, I actually didn't expect the badge to come off that easy, but it did. So, I'll put that in there. We'll probably just fill it with a bunch of stickers, honestly. Yeah, I'll just put a, a whole bunch of random stickers on it. I like it, though. I'm excited that we have it. Make it even and flush. There. And in the back. I think the extra screws is I could take a drill and drill them up in there and make it like flush because I feel like there should be one in the center back there, but we'll see. I may add them in later on. It, oh, there's the electrical port. All right. right here. There's a hole right there. So it you just pretty much take a drop cord or you'll run like a six-way outlet and you'll just pop it through in here and then you run the cord out the back and then you can plug it in. And that it's on wheels, I'm so much more happier that I put it on wheels. That's going to make it so much easier to move whenever, if I ever do move. So, And if I do move, I can just take four screws out the bottom, separate the toolbox, and it makes it that much more lighter. So I'm excited about it. Is there holes on both sides? They're it then. And there's holes on both sides for those extra pins, hanging hammers or whatever else I want to hang. But I'm going to be good. I like it. I'm excited. Everything's going to be tightened down here in a little bit, though. Uh, yeah. It actually took a pretty good little while to build it. We've been live for almost an hour now, so. Cheers. Mm. We're going to roll this out of the way. We're going to use the rest of one last time. And get everything set back up the way it should be. And this is kind of how I do my day normally. So you guys can kind of see me set up real quick. About dropped everything off. Now. Move this out of the way. My knife, just in case people play. Oh my god, I get a knife. Um, my right phone. So if you're curious on how my like videos ever get set up, this is pretty much kind of how I do everything. Um, mouse is over there, and then it looks weird because the way you guys are sitting, you're gonna see it from the side. But that's pretty much how it looks, uh, just depending on if I have anything extra or not. I'll be right back, and then we'll finish setting everything up. Back. Had to brush down the beard just a little bit too. Uh, cheers! I'm sipping on gin and cola, and I'm getting tired of it. What gin do you use? The only gin that I have is uh, AVA gin. 
Uh, and I kind of want to try some more gins, but I'm not sure what direction I should go. You seem like a gin person, so what do you think a good gin for me to try would be? And ignore all the camera movement, guys. We're putting everything back where it's supposed to be. Well, and then guys, that's pretty much how my setup goes every day. I'm going to just fiddle with this stuff. I think it's too far. Still kind of crooked. It'll be good enough though. I think. We'll fly the table over. Before I grab a what time is it? Pretty late to be getting all soon. So we'll go ahead and grab our beer. <clears throat> Pretty lady gets off at one. She works four a.m. to one. Here. She works some crazy schedules, man. I'm having Gibson's London Dry Gin. I can say that I've never heard of that. Um, but then again, I'm not even sure if, is that a local gin for you or is it a gin that anybody can get? Because, I mean, gin itself is very, like, uh, small in my area. So it, I might not be able to get it. There's a lot of different, like, Name branded ones, I think, but there's not a lot of variants of gin. And the really cool thing, guys, like I know maybe watching me build a toolbox isn't the funnest thing in the world, but at the end of the day, I built it with my own hands. I didn't have somebody pre build it, I didn't have any of that. Uh, it's cool to be able to have things like that. And then just put it together yourself. Uh, usually, I don't use instructions and Pretty Lady yells at me because I spend so much more time on it that way. But I decided to go ahead and just use instructions this time with you guys. So, I love it. And I'm glad that we've done it on stream and we've done it together. Because there is a sense of accomplishment when you do things on your own, you build something on your own. That's why I love working on cars, building cars, and everything else. Is because it's just so much more fun seeing the outcome uh an hour ago that was just in a, a bunch of metal in a box and now it's a full toolbox i love it and i'm excited about it um always be excited about something to do on your own if you don't do it on your own i mean you can still be excited about it but there's a sense of pride with something that you buy and build on your own in my opinion uh it's from the uk so it's not made in sweden i've never tried swedish gin does, is there a Swedish gin? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm so like... Let me see. Let me see if I can get that in the U.S. Another good thing about not being live on Facebook is I'm able to do it on my phone. All right. Gibson's London Dry Gin. All right, so you can buy it in the U.S. If I'm looking at the right one. Is it this one? Is that it? Is that the right one? <clears throat> According to Google's, I can buy it in the U.S. Oh, there's a pink, too. There's a pink one. It says Gibson's Pink Premium Gin. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'll see if I can find some. 
screen chat. And I'm not sure, I don't even think I made a video with gin and coke. Let me see. I've done gin and watermelon punch. I've done gin and pickle juice. I've done gin by itself, and that's it. So I haven't had a gin and Coke or a gin and soda. Is that something I should try? You want me to do a review on that? I can do a review on it. There is a Swedish gin. Purity gin is one of them. My dad has a bottle, but he hasn't opened it yet. <laughs> oh, okay. You want me to? I could do a. a if that's your prefer, is that your preferred drink? Is like gin and coke or a gin and soda? If so, I can do a review on it. I got a couple. It might be a few days out, but I can get. I can do a review on it. Wouldn't mind. I know um, today. Well, I'm not doing today's not a review day, so I won't be ranking a review. Um, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I have uh, drinks made up, so I can do it on Tuesday if you would like. It is hot in here, man. I need to buy uh, so my house doesn't run on central heat and air. Uh, we have window units and baseboard heating. So, me and Pretty Lady talked about it. We're going to be buying another window unit, and it's going to go in the bathroom in the bedroom. Our mine and her bedroom, and then we're gonna be able to run it differently. So we'll be able to we're gonna pretty much rotate window units. Yeah, that would be cool. All right. So so do you use gin and coke like Coca Cola, or what do you mix your gin with? I think you, I'm pretty sure you said gin and coke. Gin and cola. Yeah, gin and cola. All right. Yeah, we can rock that. We can try that on Tuesday. That'd be a nice. Uh, Chill Tuesday drink. Because I think my schedule next week, my live should be pretty all right. <laughs> See my schedule real quick. I say, please, if you made me sign in, I wouldn't do that today. Coke or Sprite, I could do one of each. I could definitely do one of each. Let's see here. All right. So I'm off Sunday. Monday, Miller Monday is going to be a little late. I get off at 7.30, so it's going to be probably about 8.30 before I go live. Also, same on Wednesday. But Friday, I work 7 to 4. Tuesday, Tuesday, I'm off. So Tuesday will be a good day for the gin drinks. And then I'm off the following Tuesday as well. Miller Monday will be late again. Wednesday will be late again. Friday, I'm off, so... Okay, we'll, we'll work with it. We'll work it in. Got it. Because, like, over here, a lot of people do, like, gin and juice. I prefer Coke because uh, it's it the citrus and the gin mixes well with the Coke. But that's just my personal preference. Okay. Um... Um, that's what if if you like the citrus things, you should try this one. This is what we were taking shots of. It's the uh, Sky Infusions Citrus. Absolutely, really good. All right, so uh, four and a quarter. We're still at four twenty-five, but we're gonna go ahead and knock out a shot real quick for the winding down on this, I guess you could call it. And it's just a reason to drink vodka. Um, but cheers, guys, to the growth and to trying new things because I feel like this was really, really fun uh, building that with you guys and being able to do a live stream where it's earlier in the day for y'all, where it's not either piss crazy late or piss crazy early in the morning. It allows you guys to come in, chat, hang out, and talk some more. Um, so, cheers, and thank you for coming in. So good. So, so good. Um, but again, remember, we're going to be going live also later. 
We're still going to have our Friday night live for the U.S. time to the East Coast. Um, I'm probably going to be looking at about 7, 6.30 or 7 East Coast Standard Time for the U.S. Um, it just depends. I need to look at my um, algorithm on YouTube. Depending on how that looks will depend on what time I go live tonight. Um, actually, we'll go ahead and look real quick, and I'll tell you. Let's go over here to the page. I'll go to the page, and I'll look. That way I can go ahead and guys, give you guys a uh, rough time frame. I'll try to catch the later stream, too, if I'm not asleep. I appreciate it, man. You're the best. Helps out a ton. Comments, all of it. Likes, shares, all of it. Everything helps. Trying to hit that 500 mark, pushing 1,000. That's what the big goal is. Uh, Alan? I'm, I'm blind, guys, so i got to squint or get really, really close. So, um, what time? Uh. All right, there it is. So... Tomorrow, today's Friday. Looks like our peak time on Friday is going to be a little around. It says 8, but that doesn't make sense for that. So between 6 and 8 p.m. So we might go for like 7. 7 o'clock. Um, uh, that said, that shows my peak time occurrence. That's is pretty much so. The way it looks is as a purple graph, and it tells you the darker the color of the purple, the more uh, views you're getting during that time period. So I kind of go live based off of those. So if you want to see me live, I'm gonna say around six thirty seven ish is definitely gonna be more or less what we're gonna be looking at. Um, just kind of be in between there, closer to 7, 7.30. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll see what Pretty Lady's up to and what she's got me playing. Uh, Uh, pretty ladies gonna be coming in soon. We're still drinking our beer though. I'm sure once she gets here, I'll have a honeydew list. Um, my first list though, first on the list is definitely gonna be organizing the um the drawers here. So my buddy Ray has the absolute best like organization skills when it comes to his toolbox, all of his metrics, all of his standards, down to all of his Phillips, all of his flatheads, all of his clamps, to everything else. So I think that's kind of how I'm going to go. Um, top two drawer or top three drawers. Um, you're going to have your uh, small, your eighth inch, your three eighths, your three eighths ratchets, your three eighths sockets. And then I'm going to go to your quarter inch sockets, your quarter inch ratchet, ratchets and stuff. And then I'm going to go to my half inch stuff. And then I'm going to have my bottom drawer is going to be like my vice grips, my dikes. Uh, my wire cutters and stuff like that. And then we'll see what else I have after that to go into everything else. I want to be able to kind of put everything into its own home. Everything has a place. Everything has a home. I might do uh, uh, wrench or flatheads and Phillips into that bottom drawer. That would be like my flatheads, my Phillips, my star wrenches, like just wrenches, all not wrenches, um, screwdrivers. We're going to put that, that might be my screwdriver drawer, and then I might label all of them, 
or I won't let because I'm know I'm gonna know what's going where, but we'll see what happens. Um I do have that top end. That might be like my screws, my fasteners, stuff like that. Uh, bottom end will be like my drill, my drill batteries, my bags, my tool bag, uh, all that other random nonchalant things I think is going to go there. Uh, I'm still in the middle. I'm talking to Pretty Lady about it, what she thinks, because I like her opinion, because when it comes to decorating, she's the <laughs> best. Um, and she kind of had a good point. I might put it away where nobody can see it. That way when people come over, they don't see a whole bunch of tools and stuff. So I might put it away in the closet because it's kind of small and fits right in there. Uh, or I might put it out here in the room. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to see what she thinks, and that's what we're going to run with. So her opinion is way more stronger than mine. <laughs> I just do what she tells me to do. That's pretty much it. But I love, I love tools. I love working on cars and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Also, I still have a couple ginger beers left. I have... I'm looking at them now. I think it's one, two, three, four. I have four or six ginger beers left. Um, so if you guys have any type of drinks that you think would go good with a ginger beer, let me know and I can make those up because I have those and I just need something to do with them. They're just chilling over there. So I need to work with getting rid of those. Let me know, guys. Let me know. But I do appreciate everybody that did show up today. Remember, if you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Become part of our huge family. We're every single day with the numbers of knowledge. Um, I try to post every single day, which actually I lie. I lie. I do post every single day. I don't miss a day unless I absolutely have to or I'm on vacation with Pretty Lady. Um, we post Monday through Thursday, Saturday and Sunday. We go live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, we post all the time. Constantly. So uh, we're actually pushing 600 videos posted on the channel uh, really close. I think we're about 13 away from hitting that. Uh, he said, I know a drink is vodka and ginger beer. Have you tried that? I have not tried vodka and ginger beer. The only thing, so the only two drinks that I've done with ginger beer are uh, <clears throat> I have done... Ginger beer by itself, I've done a review on ginger beer. And then I've done a review on ginger beer and I believe rum, and that was it. I have not, I know anything other than ginger beer and rum, I have not mixed ginger beer with anything. So I'm up for all of the requests for ginger beer. I forgot where I was talking about. Oh yeah, we're about to hit 600 videos. 600. Uh, and... The day that we hit, like, more subscribers than videos, I'm going to have a stroke. I swear. I swear. I'm going to die. <laughs> because that's a ton of videos. That's a ton of people out there watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, try taking a citrus or lime vodka with ginger beer. Haven't tried it myself, so it would be an experiment. Well, I have a citrus and lime vodka right here. And I have ginger beer right there. <laughs> So, okay, so what we'll do is, that's next week's videos. Once we finish up the beers that I'm doing reviews on in the fridge, Tuesday and Wednesday, Tuesday we will do the, um, gin and cola. We'll do the gin and cola. And then on Wednesday we will do the vodka and, uh, beer. Thing. Ginger beer. That's what we'll do. And I'm actually going to write it down real quick so I don't freaking forget because I know I will. Alright, so Tuesday is going to be gin and coke. Wednesday is going to be a vodka and Ginger beer. Tomorrow, Saturday, so it will be just a video. Um, my streams are only Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, 
So every other day is just a video. Now, the only time that that's going to change is if I'm off a day where I can do an extra live stream, what I'll do if it's – so like tomorrow I work, so it's not going to work. But maybe Sunday, I'm off Sunday. So I can do a live stream Sunday morning-ish, and on my days off, I, before I like do whatever I'm doing my day, I can do a live stream for an hour – for everybody that's over the seat over the pond from me. And that way it won't count towards like my Monday, Wednesday and Friday streams, but on my days off, it'll be an extra stream for everybody that's overseas from me. I think, I think that's what we're going to start doing. Um, because, and unless, unless it's on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, those will depend because those are pretty ladies days off. And if we got something planned, um, we're going to do what we're going to be doing. So uh, as long as it's not on a day where me and her are off together, I think from here on out, I want to say expect a live stream if I'm off. But you'll know in advance. Um, I'll either let you guys know in a live stream or I'll let you know in a video. So just I know it kind of sounds like weird, but just, just watch everything because I'm, that's how the best way to know. Or follow me on my Facebook, my Instagram, or my Twitter. Any of those, you'll be able to find out what I'm going to be doing or if I do it at a time. Um, once we hit 500 subscribers, we're going to be creating a fan page. All right. So once I hit that 500 mark, we're going to instantly create a fan page. That fan page is going to be where you can find out when I'm going live, what I'm going to be doing when I go live what days I'm going to be doing, what times I'm going to be going live, videos, updates, everything like that is going to be on that page. So once we hit 500, that's going to be a thing. But for right now, I know you have me on Facebook, so um, I may just make a post every now and again. It's hard to do it on Facebook because, like, when I do my early streams, like I am now, I'm not live on Facebook. I'm just live on YouTube. So I kind of mix it up a little bit. I'm watching all videos, but I can't tune in on all streams because I work Monday to Friday. I understand that, and that's 100% respectable. Get you, get you money, man. Work, work, work. I love working. Uh, my thing is I work in retail. I work at uh, Walmart. I'm sure – I'm not sure if you guys have Walmarts over there, but Walmart is like a big super center where you can go grocery shopping, buy random clothes, hunting, sporting goods. Anything you can think of is in this store. So um, – I work it there, and I work on cars there. So we're seven days a week, 24-7. Uh, so my days off are very, very random. But we're going to work with that and work around it for my live streams. So uh, Every video or leading up to a day where I'm off, like the day before, like you said, you watch every video that goes up, then you're going to know right away when that happens because in that video somewhere, I'll let you know. I'm going to get better at it. I need to get better at a lot of like, communication things with you guys instead of just being more uh, sporadic. Uh, so I'm going to be working towards growing myself with you guys because there's no point leaving you guys in the dark when I can just be like, hey, I'm going to be going live. Like say I'm off, I'm off Sunday. I'm going to go live. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say it now. Pretty lady working Sunday. So Sunday morning, let's go ahead and prep and say I'm going to go live Wednesday, uh, Sunday morning. We're going to do a live Sunday morning. Let's say pretty ladies lunch is usually 9 to 10. I'm going to say anywhere between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. my time. We're going to be going live somewhere in that area, just depending on what I got to get done. But around in there, we're going to be going live for at least an hour. So look for Sunday. Sunday is going to be our next live time, and it's going to be within your time zone. That's how we're going to look at it that way. Walmart is like our dollar store, I think. It's a store that has a little bit of everything. It is. Exactly. That's pretty much exactly what Walmart is. Um, but we have we have dollar trees, we have dollar gin, we have family dollar, and then we have Walmart. So we have a bunch of weird different things. But the first ones like family dollar, dollar general, um, Family Dollar, Family Dollar, Dollar General, and 
dollar store, whatever you want to call it. I forgot what I call it now. What is it? Family Dollar, Dollar General, there's one more. But I mean, the other one doesn't really count because it's like, I feel like it's only kind of my county. But, and then you got Walmart. So, uh, in between all of those, that's pretty much just what we're working with. But like, Walmart's more like your big chain superstore, I guess you could say. It's like a mall. It's it's like a super. It's like a grocery mall. I guess you could say. Family Dollar, Dollar General, Family General. Ah, yeah. oh. ah! Oh. It's got me twisted now. Um. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna get our last shot in here real quick for you guys. I think I just heard pretty. Yes, babe. Hey, baby, we're still alive. Still alive. <laughs> I love it. Pretty lady's camera shy, so she likes to, like, nudge at the door and see what's going on. But, all right. So, cheers to everybody that showed up. You guys have been awesome. Thank you for, um, Hoppus for coming in here. You're amazing, man. Cheers. You gave me two new videos for next week. It's going to be great. Um. Finishing up the beer here. Also great. Guys, y'all have been an amazing group. Chit-chatting and everything. Mostly hoppers. Man, you've been great. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for cheering us on and talking a little bit while we were building the, chair, the uh, toolbox. Again, that was a pretty lady's idea. So I uh, thank her for telling me to do that. It was really fun and interesting to be able to do that during the live. Um, so, guys, till later, next as always, I love you to death. Y'all have a wonderful time uh, watching all the videos that we have posted. If you haven't watched them all, go all the way back to the beginning, man. They start off very, very rough, but we slowly get into it. Um, if you're new, hit the subscribe button, become part of our key channel. It's great every single day with the numbers and knowledge. But don't forget that notification bell. Let you know when we go live, when we post videos. We go live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We post videos Monday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, you can expect another new video review tomorrow. Fridays, we do not post review videos. It's just strictly live days. Um, but nonetheless, today is our first day of the live, uh, first live of the day. We're doing two today. Um, the next one's going to be around that six, seven ish o'clock. We're just going to see how things roll. So guys, y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you again soon. Have a good day, man. You also to have a great night. Uh, if you're up whenever I go live, I'll see you then. If you're not, you have a good night's sleep, man. I'll see you again. Let's catch you guys later. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day.